Good afternoon. Welcome to the Herman AC Virtual Open Event. Uh, this is our last session of the day, just talking about the learner support offering available uh, here at the Herman AC campus and also available through our Folly Lane campus as well. Uh, just to start things off, uh, we've got Nikki, who's the learning support coordinator, and she's going to guide you through the various bits and pieces of support available and can then talk through any questions you may have. Over to you, Nikki. I'm not I'm, Can you hear me? No. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're muted again now, Nikki. Oh, what's it doing? There you go. Right. OK. Hi there. Oh, it's, it's muted you again, Nikki. There we go. Now we can hear you. Yeah, am yeah. I back on? Yeah, that. OK, sorry, I'll start from the beginning again. My name is Nikki Henneman and I'm the Learning Support Coordinator at Hereford Ludlow College. Um, part of my role is obviously supporting students um, that are having difficulty with their education, whether that be um, within their coursework, their maths and English, um, anything like that, really. So um, at home, Lacey, um, we have a good um, group of LSAs that work over there. Um, they'll, they can be in class if you've got an education healthcare plan. If you haven't got an education healthcare plan, and obviously it stipulates on there that you need one-to-one -one support, then um, you will not have um, in-class support. You get outside class support. So you'd access that whilst there's a gap in your curriculum for that day or for the three days you're in. Um, or you're more than welcome to come in on a day that you're not in college and you can access the support then. Support, withdrawn support, that sort of support without, out of the classroom, you would usually um, access that in the library over at Home Lacey. So if at any time during your course you feel you need some support, pop over to the library, see the ladies in there. There's a lovely lady called Wendy that's usually over there every day and Monday to Friday, and she'll be able to help you with your support package, whether that be you want to visit, you want to make a weekly one-to-one um, -one session with her, or it might be a small group of you in your in your class that want to come and access a bit of extra support. And you can have support with your portfolio building, um, any drawings if you're a blacksmither, um, anything like that. Um, maths and English, again, that's a very similar scenario. Um, you would have in-class support if you've got an education healthcare plan. So there's LSAs available in class. If not, again, you would access that um, outside your curriculum area. Um, another thing in my role is I organise um, people that need access arrangements for exams. So if you've ever had extra time, a reader, etc. for some exams, please make sure you let your English and Maths tutor know and your course tutor, of course, um, that you've had those arrangements in place previously. And then we can make sure that they're um, should need to be reassessed and we need to make sure that that's done early on in the year. Um, there's also, we have another small team that um, you can access some student advice from. So that would be like something like pastoral support. So if you've got um, worries um, that are home, that are home based or personal based, they'd be able to help you there. Um, that's about it. S in a nutshell. Um, thank you, Dave. I shall answer any questions in a minute. Thank you. Um, so the first question that's come through is uh, what support is available for students with dyslexia? Yep, so that would be unless you've got an education healthcare plan. Again, that would be withdrawn support. So you would access that um, during your time. Like it might have a tutorial slot within your week's programme that you might be able to go and access some support then. Um, if you've passed your maths and English at a grade C or about a grade four or above, sorry, which is or a C, um, then you will put a what's called a directed study programme. You might be able to access your support in that time as well. Okay, thank you. Um, Sarah, if I bring you in, I uh, just got a couple of questions around uh, transport and parking at home, Lacey. Uh, yep, OK, so transport to Home Lacey is um, uh, there is a bus that goes from the bus station to Home Lacey 
um, I believe there is two times that go off the top of my head. I can't remember those times, but I can find those out for you. Um, they go from the bus station to Home Lacey, uh, and then I believe they leave Home Lacey at quarter past four. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Back to the bus station to catch on, you know, to on to ongoing transport if needed. Um, with regards to parking, that's fine. Parking is available um, at Home Lacey, and that comes on a first come first serve basis um, but I, I'm pretty sure there is plenty of parking there for people. Um, with regards to applications for uh, transport you would need to do that through Herefordshire Council. Um, if it was to connect for the connecting bus then if you could email um, email the college and we can get that sorted for you. Lovely, thank you. Um, someone else has asked about um, can I get help with a UCAS application? Yeah, we have um, we have our hub assistants that are um, available every day. They can help um, with the UCAS application, with the personal statements, going through that with you and any advice. Um, they can help you with that as well. OK, thank you. Um, someone's asked what resources are available in the library? Uh, it, the re sorry, the resources we have in the library, we have um, uh, computers that you can use um, at, during the day at college. Uh, obviously, we have our books that you can uh, loan. Um, we have printing facilities, um, any binding facilities that you may need. You can top up your print credit um, within the libraries um, and um, parking, but obviously that's different to Home Lacey, so that's um, slightly different. Um, just think of, can you think of anything else, Nick? Um, right, journals, there's journals and that. You have journals in there, yeah, don't you? Yeah. There's journals, there's ebooks, uh, mm. there's online resources that you can access through the library that you don't need to obviously be in college to access. Um, and we have um, the library at Home Lacey is open every day um, and four, and then Friday open till lunchtime. Thank you. Um, and if someone wants to access advice about careers. Yeah, careers. We have a um, we have a, a, a careers lady on site at Hereford campus um, but uh, called Gail but she does come over to Home Lacey and she's more than happy to come over make the appointment and she'll come over to see you over at Home Lacey. That's great thank you. Uh, Nick if I bring you back we've got a couple of questions uh, okay. more for yourself. Um, someone's asked uh, is there support for drawing lessons? Um, I'm guessing that that's for someone who maybe doesn't have uh, educational health fund yeah i mean there isn't unfortunately there isn't um the funding to allow that um but i would say not always but majority of like level one courses especially at home lacey and at Folly lane um there would be an lsa in that class that would be supporting somebody with an education health care plan in there so i'm gonna have to say in level one groups there usually is support in there all the time um not necessarily fed to them but obviously the lsa does help throughout the group as well if needs be great thank you um someone else has asked is there support with essays or coursework for those who do not have any learning difficulties yeah again that could be that would be what i what i call as withdrawn supports so that would be in the library with wendy or if they just wanted a bit of proofreading, they can hand an assignment in and Wendy can proofread that. Um, but again, that would be in that tutorial slot, quite a good slot. Um, some of the LS, um, sorry, some of the students will come and access support then. Or if, like I said, if they've got a directed study slot, it's a really good time to access the support. Or like I said, they've got those two days, they're not in college. They're, they're more than welcome to come. They can even come up to Folly Lane if that's a better solution if they live in town. They can come up to Folly Lane and they can get the support at Folly Lane. OK, great, thank you. Uh, just see if we have any other questions coming through. Uh, please feel free to ask any uh, for those that are watching. Um, Sarah, is there anything else sort of student hub wise that needs to be known? No, I don't think apart from the student hub assistants are based at Hereford campus, but we do quite often come over to Home Lacey. Um, if we need if we're needed for any particular reason, they just need to email either myself or or um, you know, the college and we can arrange for that to come over. Um, but we are based at Hereford campus, but we're more than happy to come over to Home Lacey at any time. OK, thank you. 
Uh, Nick, anything else to add or is that kind of everything? Um, I don't think so. I think, you know, um, once you're there, once you're at college, it'll be a wonderful experience, I'm sure. But just use the library, especially at home, Lacey, if you feel a bit stuck, you don't know where you're going, go to the library. The library is a really, really good base at home, Lacey, um, just to access, just to go and ask a question. There's staff always in the library, as Sarah said, it's all, apart from a Friday afternoon, there's always staff there. So, you know, if ever you feel a bit lost or it's your first couple of days, you're not too sure, Perhaps you're a bit lonely at lunchtime or anything like that. Go into the library and just talk to the ladies in the library. They are really, really helpful and will help you settle in really well. That's great. Thank you. Um, just one question I realize I've missed. Um, someone just asked, um, what support is there um, for mental health issues or, or, or safeguarding issues? That's the that's the team I was talking about earlier on. So they're called the student advisors. Um, so they're there for your pastoral support or like mental health issues or anything like that. So they are, there's, they're a small team that work across Home Lacey and Folly Lane and Ludlow, um, but they come across regularly to Home Lacey. They have certain slots that they're there for. Um, there will be posters up and around the college come September, giving you who's who, who's who. So it'll give you a picture of who will be there on what days and what times you can access that support. But again, if you feel that um, you can't access support when they're there, you just drop us an email or again, you go to the library, you explain your situation. They will guide you on how to send an email to the student advisors and then they will, you could set up a meeting from there as well. OK, great. Thank you very much. Uh, so it doesn't look, look like we've got any other questions coming through. Um, so we'll wrap things up there, uh, assuming there's no other questions. Um, if anyone's got any other questions, uh, whether they're watching this back on the recording and think, oh, they didn't ask the question I wanted to know the answer to, you can contact us through the inquiry form on the website, contact us through social media, and we can direct your query to whoever and wherever it needs to go to and get, get you the answers that you need. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, this has been our virtual open event. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need any more information, please just get in touch.